trying not to vlog in the truck. It's probably one of my top three. I don't want to say worst days, emotional, life-altering days I've ever had. Obviously, you know, probably number one is Elijah. Trying not to cry again. Trying to keep this all good. I don't even know if I can tell you yet. Something uh, life-altering just happened today. Uh, I got to go home and talk with my wife. I just, I needed to say something. And you guys are family. Well, I, I'll just tell you this. My company's done. I've been there 25, over 25 years. With COVID-19, the coronavirus, and Gavin Newsom, including, I'm going to say, between Nancy Pelosi, Barbara Boxer, Diane Feinstein, and then throw Newsom in there. They have destroyed my company. We have some big time decisions me and my wife have got to make here real soon. Yeah. More to come real, real soon. It's beginning to look a lot like Frozen. I see roads everywhere. <laughs> Hi. I wore this to work and from work I am off early today so um, it's Friday. Ronnie and I have a lot to do today, but let's go say hi to him. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting off of work. I'm still in my Mickey D's gear and uh, it's frozen out here. The roads are icy here in California. Yes, Mr. Adam Archer, it snows here in California. Just, just in case you didn't know. Well, so much for me talking to Ronnie. He's going golfing. He's what? leaving me on a Friday on a day off and he's going golfing. Listen, I have to <laughs> I guess this is necessary because there is discussion that does need to happen, so. Yes, I haven't talked to my brother yet. Well, we haven't talked to YouTube yet either, so. There is discussion that will be happening later after Christmas. No, I'm not pregnant. brother is going to be pissed. Both your brothers. One more than the other. Are you going to uh, vlog golfing? That is the plan. Okay, good. More golfing coming. <laughs> in the Sam Hill. I thought I was in the Birds movie, but what is going on here? Do they know? Are they running from COVID-19? What is... Holy mackerel. Maybe my car ain't good. This car must stink. This car must smell. This car must have bad gas. Good morning to you. How are you? Good morning to Shadow. Where's she at? Over there. Oh, don't mind our mess. We have to put everything back. Ugh. Anyway, hi. What are we doing outside early in the morning? I have to do a soil project for science. We are doing a science project, soil science project. So what are we gotta do? We gotta get some clay, right? Some ground soil. Yeah. And then I Look have at to form this. it into a ball. It's a perfect. You have to form it into a ball first. So we're gonna do that first. Let me come to this side so we can see better. The soil gets right onto my pants. That's all right, you can change. Now it's clay, right? Yeah. It's like a sandy clay. <laughs> okay, and not a silty clay. A sandy clay is very grainy, right? Yeah. Let's grab some water. Water in here. Just uh, do a couple of drops on, no, pour it onto your ball. There you go, now smash it again. Now what's happening? It's becoming very smooth. Yes, that's silty clay. Now can you make a ribbon? A ribbon is kind of like a flat, long, flat, like ribbon. So try to make a, a ribbon. There you go, flatten it up. It's still, what is that happening? It's still silty, in, I mean sandy inside, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need to make it more silty. Not too much. Now keep playing with it. Let it get into this clay. Oh, 
Are you making a ribbon now? Is it getting better? So yeah, hold it there. Don't make a ball. Add more water to it. Nope, nope. It's all going to fall right. Is it? There you go. There you go. Now try again. Let me squeeze it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's okay. You can still keep making a ribbon from that one. After your ball of soil is moist, try to form a thin ribbon of soil. If you can form a long, thin ribbon, you have clay soil. If you formed a long ribbon but it breaks easily, you have clay loam soil. So, what do we have? I think we have clay loam. Yes, we have clay loam soil. Now make your soil classifica classification more detailed by selecting one of these descriptions. If the soil feels smooth, add the silty to your soil name. So it would be silty clay loam, right? Right? It doesn't feel too smooth. It doesn't feel smooth, but it looks smooth. Well, you're, you're right. So what would you call that then? Just simple clay loam. Okay. If the soil feels slightly gritty, don't add any words. You're correct. If the soil feels very gritty, add the word sandy before. So, there's in between. Is that an in between? Yeah. You're right. So, let's go ahead and go back inside. And you're going to uh, name the assignment of your soil. And then you're going to observe it. And then you're going to determine if your soil texture class close to one of the three corners of the triangle that is right here got it okay we're done go ahead and throw the gloves away just got done with some of Caden's schooling and now i have to go turn it into the school <clears throat> and the next project he's got to do is learning all about volcanoes and how they work we already did that in sixth grade we did a volcano project don't know why they repeat the, some of these history lessons because he's a freshman in high school and we learned about volcanoes so now he has to write a report on volcanoes which is kind of repetitive and redundant it really is because there's a lot of lessons that he learned from sixth seventh and eighth grade that he's redoing for freshman year so i don't know i actually want to start teaching him home economics, how to change a tire, how to fix a car, how to cook. I want him to t uh, learn how to do all those things, how to build a box with hammer and nails. You know, I need him to be more useful than learning how to study about volcanoes. Who gives a crap about volcanoes? Unless you are getting into that science who cares? I remember learning about volcanoes and to this day, I don't care. If you care, that's your prerogative. <laughs> I'm totally ranting right now and I love you guys that you guys just sit there and listen to my rants. But anyway, it's not relevant to life. Uh, volcanoes. This natural disasters happen, earthquakes happen and how they happen is great. But why do we have to be so redundant with multiple lessons on it? So anyway, that's my rant for the day um but other than that yeah i'm adulting today doing school um i'm going to go to walmart real quick and pick up a couple of small square pillows to make some christmas presents uh for friends because i'm going to sew some pillowcases and I got to learn how to sew on a zipper. I don't know if I want to do that. I just might just leave it with an opening. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Are you ready for COVID to go away and the countries to open back up? Because that would be nice. <laughs> Alrighty, Mom. What are you doing? Okay, so this gift is from Debs McLeod from Debs Dreams on YouTube and she paid me to make Mr. Ronnie a pillow for Christmas. So I went and got some black and red fleece material. It was, a, it was half off today so I definitely had to get it. 
But the surprise is, let me turn it right side out. Bum, bum, bum. We glued Drag Shadow WWE words to it. I might add a gold trimming all the way around. And if I can find a WWE belt iron transfer, I could put it on later. I could always add more to this as we go along, but we're going to get started with just doing that for now. So she wanted to have Ronnie have a Drag Shadow. It's so nice and soft. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on this. I am um, making a trim for the edge of the pillow and um, finish it up because Deb wants to give it to him tonight. So we're going to do that tonight. <laughs> Because I was gonna say no, we're gonna wait till Christmas and Deb's like no you got yours early and I was like, oh crap. That's right. Not fair <laughs> So we're gonna give it to him tonight uh, He's bringing Taco Bell home. So yum Taco Bell and Christmas pillow. Hi Okay, this is some bull crap. I haven't been home not two minutes No, you've been home three minutes <laughs> I even made dinner Can't you tell? Taco Bell. I went out of my way. I slaved to make dinner. Oh, you got to sit down, Ronnie. She's live on Twitch right now. I am. Everybody's yelling at me. Mm -hmm. I haven't even been able to get out of my birthday, I mean, my work suit. I hope you don't get in your birthday suit. <laughs> we don't need to see that. And she says I got to sit here. You got to sit down. Can you lift the paper towels up and stand them up? Because that's supposed to see that, though? Oh, those are mine. Yours. Cinnamon balls are mine. You said you wanted an empanada, and they don't make them no more. I know, and thank you for getting my substitute. But I didn't. I got you totally got my substitute. For working a 27-hour day. Mm, you worked a lot today. Oh. You're so tired. Okay, so I have to apologize ahead of time for any onions, okay? No, no, then shut the camera off. <laughs> this is per request by Debs McCloud. Who's Debs McCloud? <laughs> Who's Debbie Debs Debs? I mean, <laughs> since when does she get a say? Well, since I got an early Christmas present for the record player, she figured that you couldn't wait till Christmas. So she wanted to give it to you early, too. Debs, if you're in a stream right now, <laughs> don't make me. She paid me to make something for you. And so I literally got home from Walmart and made it. I made it, what? It's been an hour and a half. I made it in, in about an hour and a half. So, hold on. You are not focused. Why are you not focused? Focus. Deb's going to get punched. Debbie's going to get punched. So, I'm going to give it to you like this, but you have to turn it around and look at it. There you go. I probably have to cut off some strings on it. You're going to have to shut off the vlog, aren't you? <laughs> we'll see about that. That's a Christmas present for you. <laughs> that is actually amazing. That's like better than I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. Keep licking me. Lay down. That's like better than any store bought gift you can get, right there. I just made it. Shut the camera off. <laughs> I'm not shutting it off. Everybody wants to see your reaction. <laughs> That's a bull crap, Deb. If you think I don't hold grudges, I hold grudges for, <laughs> for a long time. So you have a pillow for your bed. Say. Thank you. Yeah. Good boy. Sorry, that one might be too loud for some of you guys who wear earbuds. I apologize. Uh, it is Saturday morning, and I'm running to the store real quick to grab a few things. Today's an exciting day. Um, I am going to my friend Katie Bug's house. I'm sure you recognize her in some of our live streams and comments and stuff. Woo! She's been part of our family for quite a few years. We've just been able to get to know each other a little bit more the, this last year. Um, 
amazing young lady. <clears throat> anyway, so she just moved into a new apartment, and so I'm going to give her a housewarming gift, a.k.a. Pre Christmas present, and this is what I got her. First, we're going to start with a puppy dog. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I love it. I love hounds. I just won't have one because they, they're, ooh, all the time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want one of those. <laughs> My dogs are laddered up, a.k.a. Um, schooner. Anyway, so I'm going to put this in here. Her and I are both Disney fanatics. Just so you know, if you're new to the channel, we're 110% Disney fanatics. So uh, she loves pink. It's her favorite color. So I got her this for her couch, a pink throw princess. Perfect. It was so perfect. And then I got her a pink Minnie Mouse to go in there and we're gonna share some um, peppermint bark because that's kind of our favorite chocolates and then I got I'm gonna go over there and help her decorate uh, her I don't know if it's kitchen or living room either way it's all Disney themed so I'm gonna help her decorate she's been waiting for me so I decided hey let's have lunch together so I got a couple of Cobb salads for her and I, and then I brought some mushrooms, so that way I can make her some sauteed mushrooms. Melody special sauteed mushrooms. And then I got her this mug, this hot chocolate mug. I thought it was so cute, it's a Mickey Minnie. And then Donald Duck marshmallows inside it. So I got her that as well. Let me put that underneath here. So Merry Christmas to Katie Bug, AKA housewarming party gift. Uh, so there's that and then salad I've got Parmesan cheese and some food and dessert for a little luncheon get together at her new place I'm excited about that hi, hi. <laughs> Katie bug up in the house her new place it's so cute I love it but I'm having her open up the gift on the vlog I made her so so go ahead housewarming aka Christmas gift I like that. I figured you needed something more pink. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yay. I love it. Yay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can put it on my tree. Yes, too. look at her cute little tree. I love it. Yay. It's so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. And I love that your lights match your Christmas tree. Yes. That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, nice and cozy Yay. in here. Just got home it was super nice um, hanging out with Miss Katie uh, she hung up a bunch of uh, Mickey <laughs> all over the house which was pretty freaking awesome if I could I would but I can't so I won't so anyway I uh, got this new shirt it's 
it was on sale for 11 bucks so i'm all nice and comfy and i'm gonna get my blanket on and i'm just gonna play some playstation for a little while um i hope you guys are enjoying our videos if you are thumbs up we have an announcement coming in about two weeks we're gonna get ready to announce something super important to you guys so make sure you subscribe so you guys know what our announcements are and leave a comment below let us know and kaden don't forget to favorite and share. We'll see you guys all for another vlog. We love you guys so very much. Bye.